months of political deadlock in Iraq, with no sign of resolution as supporters of the Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr stage a parliament sit-in to protest the formation of a new government. They oppose the nomination of Mohammed al-Sudani for prime minister, calling him too close to Iran. We agree on any independent person, but we do not agree on trash returning again. They destroyed the people. More than a hundred people were injured during clashes with security forces as protesters stormed the green zone and took the parliament building for the second time in a week. There were 18 years that should have been enough for the government to resolve what they spoiled. We will not keep recycling trash and now people are using their voices to say no to forming a corrupt government by replacing one face with another face. The protests reveal frayed nerves and fatigue over disputes between the nation's various political factions, rendering the country unable to form a new government for a record nine months. Al-Sadr, who wants to end foreign influence in Iraq, claimed victory after his nationalist movement swept parliamentary elections in October. But despite his popularity, he's been unable to form a government without his Shia rivals. Corruption allegations against al-Sudani have fueled the infighting, prompting the caretaker prime minister to call for calm. One thousand days of peaceful dialogue is better than a moment of bloodshed. I call upon all parties to be patient and rational and avoid sliding into confrontation. I call upon our citizens to not confront security forces and show respect to state institutions. But it's hard to predict what will happen. Al-Sadr's rivals, many of which enjoy Iranian support and control over their own militias, aren't backing down. Sarah Balter, TRT World.